hey guys welcome to my youtube page today we're going to be talking about this dress that we that i have here um you know how the client contacted me i will talk to about price and how i ended up delivering the dress to the owner it's going to be a lot but sit back you're going to enjoy yourself it's going to be fun and you know educative all in one together let's get started client of mine you know, she reached out to me that it was a 34 it was a 30th birthday in a month's time and i was like oh wow i was happy like <laughs> new customer now, new client <laughs> i was really happy to have her so she sent me a style i wanted to make sure that whatever i'm making for her is dope as in dope and i must not mess up so she sent me this particular style here and i was like okay this is good she's like is velvet going to be fine i said yes now um, velvet is fine and we all know that velvet has this elegance that comes with it naturally even if you you don't use it to make something so beautiful you just use it to make anything it gives you that uh that touch of elegance by itself velvet is a very good material to use especially now that we are now pairing it with um the nude bodies and you know all the serene that we have there so it's really going to come out nice and then again she said motura yo i don't want a black velvet which other color can we work with so i told her okay um i think green green and then she said she she said she wanted this type of green and i was like mm, okay it's going to be fine but i think emerald green is it emerald green this green i think emerald green is going to come out way better after she sent in the hello uh i gave her a prize and all and then i went to the market <laughs> she sent her money i got the fabric at agege normally i would have gone to oshori to get the fabric but it was not much so i just went straight to agege and luckily for me everything that i was looking for i found it in that shop i also got the applique there but it was really more expensive than i thought it was going to be like very expensive you know i wanted to use something exquisite and you know beautiful for her so at the end of the day i just tried 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 i didn't spend above my budget that is why you should always try and get your costing right before billing your clients always get your costing right before billing your clients that is very important so that you don't run at loss when you eventually go to the market there is this bead that you have on on the dress um the beads i had to use some beads you know to decorate it and also the fringe that you have here i had to do the fringe myself because when i asked for the price of the fringe um, it was really expensive they said eight thousand naira per yard and if i was going to buy it that means i'll be using like how many yards how many yards that's a lot <laughs> that would have made me to spend above my budget so i had to improvise so as a designer you should be able to improvise in any situation you find yourself and that was what i did there i went to the bead shop i bought the bead that uh, i knew was going to work perfectly for the dress and then i used it i used okay so just let me just tell you the kind of bead that i used i used the straw bead or pipe yeah they call it pipe bead and the sand bead those are the beads that i used and i got my needle i think i got size 11 needle and all size 10 i'm not really sure of the size that i got so while i was drafting the pattern i noticed something in the measurement she sent me because i don't have a current measurement i have an old measurement and i've not seen her ever since i took her last measurement and now she has added a little bit of weight a little bit of you know flesh rather so i told her to send me a measurement a measurement i sent the measurement that i needed to her and she went to the tailor the tailor took a measurement and then she sent it to me so when i was drafting a pattern i noticed something i showed her to hips and the measurement that was sent to me was 23 and how is that even possible i thought to myself i showed her to hip initially before she added some flesh was 25 or 27 now you are now telling me that i showed her to you piece 23 so i immediately called her in fact you would have to please retake your measurement for me let's do a video call while you just try and take the measurement let me just look at it by myself and be sure because i must not make mistake if you notice 
uh, if you look at this dress properly, you will see that there is a cut, yes, from the hip line, not directly from the hip line, maybe a little bit below the hip line. Yes, so that was what I wanted to cut. Imagine if I had cut it at that 23 inches. <gasps> That would have been basic. <laughs> basic. Like that would have been basic. <laughs> so I just called her and then we arranged for a video chat, video call meeting. And then we did the video call. And then I realized that our waist to hip or where I wanted that thing to start was actually 30 inches. Imagine 23 to 30. I oh, know. So please, if you are not sure of the measurement your client has sent you you can always ask for your client to do a video call with you for you just to confirm your video for you to confirm um your measurements another thing you can also do because your clients might actually be telling you that they don't have it's a pro they don't have this they don't have that and then you can do when sending when okay, if eventually you they find a way to send the measurements uh when you are sending your outfit they are you know they're dressed to them you can always just put a gift of tape uh to add it to the dress so that next time they want to you know ask you to make a dress for them they can always go back to that paper it will be easy for them to pick up the tape and then use it to take the measurements for you so another lesson learned so um she took the measurement i did the cutting and everything and then i start i made the dress and this was the result of the dress i called my rider i don't want this video to be too long that is why i'm trying to be fast uh, so i called my rider to come and pick up when i was done with the dress uh so when i, I already packed the dress seriously i packed the dress and i even sent her a picture of the dress and then I realized that I made a mistake. Wow. Mistake! Ah! Last minute. Oh um, I just had to quickly delete the picture. And what was the mistake? Uh, she said she didn't want this part of the dress to be open. In the design she sent me, the, that part was opened. So I forgot to, you know, cover it up with an applique. And it was like the rider was already on his way. That was the fastest fastest i have been in my life <laughs> i have to quickly cut out the applique blah 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 blah, blah. cut attach join near uh, tried my needle and then you know put the applique on the dress and thank god my rider did not come before i finished so i deleted the picture i didn't even find out the picture any picture again and when the rider came he picked up the dress and then he went to deliver it to ah uh, <sighs> this period eh my chest is always been like this bim, bim, bim. as in that period when my rider will take the dress to go and meet the client that period my chest is always been bim, 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 bim. like oh father let there not be mistake that is when i pray the most in my life i can be like jesus this dress is already going to the owner father please let there not be any mistake on that dress because she cannot come over here to you know for fittings if the dress is not good then it is not good then she won't be able to wear it so it the dress has to be perfect this is why you have to get your measurements right get everything right before sending the dress to the you know to your client and thankfully she got her dress and then she sent me this video i was really happy like thank god inka loved her dress and then that was it she loved her dress she used it for her birthday birthday and i was really happy i was happy that my client was happy so thank you very much i'm sure you have learned a thing or two from this video i'm going to be posting more of this kind of video and i would want you to please <sighs> like share subscribe and thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you this this is the first of its kind i'm sure it's going to get better by the day thank you very much once again uh, if you have any question you can always type the question in the comment section i'll be more than happy and eager to you know reply to and respond to your questions have a blessed day bye